I'd like to establish another five pi connection. I'd like to show how the, a three circle construction will reveal that the circle is completely embedded with golden ratio. And it, it's a, I'm going to create a three circle tangent to each other. They're all going to be on the line. But I'd like to give tribute to uh, Banked Eric Erlandson in 2006, who submitted this three circle five construction uh, to goldennumber.net, one of my favorite websites on the golden ratio, where they've acknowledged the 108 discoveries. So what I'd like to do is I want, I'd like to show you how when we put three circles together, we're going back to what we called root five. Remember the golden the ratio formula, one plus the root five of two is critically based on what the value of root five is. So let's see where root five is. I'm gonna draw three circles. So we, this is the first circle. And we can say, we'll call it the unit circle because the diameter is one. So that's what we mean by unit circle, and it's obviously in the unit square. There's a square that are circumscribes are called one by one. So then here's the center of the next circle. So that means this circle is tangent to that circle because you can see that they're all on the line. So we need to draw one more circle. And we know the center's there, the center's here, and the center's there. So we have, we have three unit circles where the diameter is one. So we know from here, we'll call this A, this is point A, this is point B, and we're gonna call this point here C. So we know that the distance from A to C must be two units because that diameter is one and another one is two. So we know that if the base of this triangle this is a right angle, one to two. We know from Pythagoras' theorem that one square, the square on this side plus the square on that side will give us the hypotenuse. And without doing the calculation now, we know, we know that this distance is called root five, square root of five. And this is critical for what we call the phi pi relationship. By showing that the golden ratio is in the harmonics of the circle, we're going to establish that the true value of pi must be based on phi. This is why this is a very um, psychoactive diagram, because it's also about the trinity, the, the three in one, the Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, and the Christian trinity, father, mother, child. So what, what have we established? We have to give a few more names. Um, we'll call this point here D, where this intersects here, this is D. So we know that D and this point here from there to there, we know that that's the diameter of the circle, which is one unit. We, we know the diameter is one, so there's no, that's easy to understand because that's part of the square. But we need to know what's this distance from E to C and B to D. If, if we can establish, ex we know that that's root five, we know that's root five, so this this distance here, if, if this is all root five, we subtract one, so root five minus one equals 2.236, 2.236 dot dot dot. But we've got two, that, so 2.236 less one, sorry, is 2.236 minus one is 1.236. But we need to halve it because we've got two of these distances. So, EC and BD equal one, equals um, 1.118. Uh, no, sorry, they, they equal 0.618. I'll, I'll just do that again. Sorry, I was, I rubbed, sorry about that. I'll do this again. So root 5 minus 1 is 2.236 is minus 1 equals 1.1. Um, what is one, one point two three six, and then we're going to halve each one of these, and what we get is point six one eight. So this distance point six one eight, and this distance point six one eight. So we found that the golden ratio is in the harmonics of the the three tangent circles, and we can say we want to look at the relationship of BE. So BE, that's the 
this long distance from there to there divided by this distance here, BD, equals phi. So we know that phi, this is 1.618, this is 0.618. And we know that B, the whole length is root 5. We know that BC equals root 5. And we established that EC in BD is 0.618. So that means 1 plus 0.618 plus 0.618 eight again gives us 2.236, which is root 5. So I just think that this is um, essentially a very important um, mathematics. It's, well, it's actually a geometry. And, and ge because geometry is a highly visual language, um, students will start to understand that it, they learn better when we actually show diagrams. Because if I just wrote out this information, it's not as clear. So um, this is part of the formula that will assassinate traditional pi. We want to we want to show the reason we're showing this. We want to show that the old value for pi three point one four one was insufficient because they never understood that the golden ratio was in the circle. And once it's corrected, we know that the true connection is three point one four four. So as you can see, there's an error from 0.001 to 004. The error is 0.003. That's called three in a thousand. And you might dismiss that and say, oh, 0 0.003, three in 1,000 is so minor. Why should we even bother about establishing the correct pi? It's because when we start using satellites and advanced technologies and explore the microcosm and macrocosm, you know, whether we're going landing on the moon or Mars, every single decimal is critical for for navigational purposes. So that's an important diagram, and I'll just leave it there. And again, I wanted to thank Eric Erlanderson in 2006 for submitting this, because this is what we call a mathematical plum, or it's a gem, and this is true and timeless.